For 15 years they have been learning from their masters, evolving from smugglers into sought after drug suppliers and avoiding violence to rely on the creation of a strong network of alliances. This is the modus operandi of Albanian criminal organizations, which, according to the National Crime Agency NCA, the British National Security Agency, manage a large part of the cocaine market in the country, for a total of about £6 billion according to the British Ministry of the Interior. According to the NCA, Albanian criminal groups have also favored the creation of the so-called county lines, capillary networks used to move drugs that run throughout the United Kingdom, moving drugs from large cities into the coastal and inland provinces. These commercial routes are not only used by Albanian criminal groups, but also by local and foreign ones. During October 2021 alone, the police carried out a series of raids that led to the arrest of 1,468 people across the territory, seizing drugs and cash for the value of more than £2 million, and confiscating an arsenal consisting of 49 guns. According to government data, organized crime costs around £37 billion every year to the UK's national economy. However, this number depicts only a partial image of the phenomenon, since it does not take into account the money which has been laundered and thus placed in the legal economy through the sale of a series of goods. But how did the Albanian Mafia manage to carve out a prominent place in the UK criminal landscape? The history of their settlement can be traced back to the 1990s and is often associated with the Kosovo War, a conflict in which over 1 million people were displaced between 1998 and 1999. Hundreds of thousands of Kosovars left the country and sought refuge in neighboring and European countries, and a large majority settled in Tirana, Albania. However, according to British investigators, during those years many of the refugees that reached the British border seeking asylum Albanian citizens who identified themselves as Kosovars to receive preferential welcoming treatment. Today, there is no univocal number of Albanian citizens residing in the United Kingdom. In 2019 the National Statistics Office released a rough estimate, claiming that about 47,000 Albanians are residing in the country and 29,000 Kosovars. However, according to the British government databases, in the year of the pandemic alone 3,071 citizens of Albanian origin requested political asylum in the country. What they have done is that they have created an Albanian-speaking satellite community in the United Kingdom, parallel to the one established in other neighboring states, such as in the Scandinavian countries after the Kosovo crisis, says to Erpi Media Tony Sagers, former head of the anti-drug section of the National Crime Agency. From such satellite communities, Albanian criminal groups have then started recruiting new fellow citizens among the newly arrived in the UK who were experiencing social marginalization and were struggling with economic resources being exploited in the agricultural, construction or industrial sectors. Cocaine, prostitution, and human trafficking are the illicit businesses that help the Tirana bosses build their empires.